Namaste. Welcome to Youth TV Show Season 8. In today's episode, we are featuring the final round of Nepal's Top 7 Young Poets produced by Leadership Academy. The topic for the final round of Category 5, Grade 10, 11 and 12 is Woman Empowerment. Our finalists are Ina Niraula, studying in Grade 12 in DAV School, Lalitpur. Nupur Kumari Lal, studying in Grade 11 in Budanil Konta School, Kathmandu. And Kriti Sitola, studying in Grade 12 in Bagmati College, Kathmandu. Congratulations to all the three finalists for making it to the final round in this national poetry competition. Let me now introduce the panel of judges for today's final round. Our first judge is Mr. Santo Shah. He is the president of Leadership Academy. Our second judge is Dr. Ruben F. Del Prado. He is the UN AIDS country director and representative to Nepal, Bhutan and Bangladesh. And our third judge is Ms. Kripa Rana Shahi. She is a gender specialist. We will now begin with the first round of poetry competition. May I call upon Ina Nirola to come up on the stage with her first poem. My topic is appreciate. To the mother who did not sleep, stood up and had ginger to steep while you, warm and cozy, slept deep. To the sister who became sad while you cry, she gave you her chocolate with paining shy because she knew that would pacify. To the grandmother who saw you grow, you never liked her although, while she wished her pain you would know. To the wife who came to you, leaving her surname everything new, while you thought she was hell to pass through. To the daughter who, who believed you are crowned, by your rules she was bound, for your every loss she had frowned. While all of she sacrificed, but you never got to thank those candlelights, because blindly you were deeply lost in the beautiful paradise. While you thought you stood up yourself, but secretly they all had helped without concern of their painful yelp. Go to the flashback and then rewind. Just think once, ponder in your mind. Appreciate the sacrifices they all had left behind. Thank you. May I call upon Nupur Kumari Lal to come up on the stage with her first poem. A child, a girl, a lady, a woman. It is a long journey from a cute named baby girl to a bold woman full of dreams, full of stories, full of injustice, full of inequalities, in short, struggle. I am Nupur Kumari Lal, representing Burain Kanda School. As I am from a family of daughters, uh, I dedicate this poem to every person who has got the privilege to be a daughter. It is them, it is her, it is she. Slow eyes and waxen complexion she has. Her hair is braided that has in seedish charm hidden behind. But amid the sunny blur, why is her lost loveliness graded? Fay grace and show shattering voice she has. She is the beauty, she is the joy that can crash in. But why is she threatened by the specter of her passion? A pukish poem she is, like the first drops of rain she falls, that she can mesmerize anyone with her splendid thoughts. But why these hypocrites slam door at just some of her odds? Why are you forbidding her to get what she deserves? Is it because you know she is sharper than you? Or you know that you can never be coeval to her? Or do you not know things that she already knows? Yes, her tears of tenderness can cause you deep despair. It can melt you down, but don't fall for them. Because she can be mad, she can be clumsy, she can be dramatic, she can be shameless all at the same time. Oh God, had you loved her thus, she grows stronger every day. Oh God, had you loved her thus, she grows stronger every day. Thank you. May I call upon Kriti Sitola to come up on the stage with her first poem. I will be delivering a poem about Chopadi. Chopadi is um, a tradition that is followed in the western parts of Nepal, where a girl, when she's menstruating, she's sent to a shed or a hut and she's forced to live there and she's kept away from everybody. This poem is about it. And the title of my poem is Blessing. My sister was my only friend. She was the oxygen to my lungs, love to my heart, water to my lungs. And every time I dreamt of the sky, she was the horizon that kept pushing me forward. You got a few steps more, just don't stop. 
But this voice was isolated and deemed impure. Her first menstruation came in like a hurricane. And as if to save themselves, my parents locked her up into that corner hut. We were always so scared to go. First night went by, dry food, no warm clothes, and it was winter outside. The next day I went to see her. It was winter inside. Her always so bright face was dull like it had been frozen in snow. I ran inside to grab something for my sister only to be greeted by a serpent at her door. She was bitten. She took her last breath in my arms and as if I'd taken too much carbon, my I choked and when I gained my consciousness, I closed her eyes with my fingers and that's when I decided her death deserved to be justified. I didn't have to wait long. My parents got me married to a man thrice my age. My parents were very happy. After all, their daughter got married with so less dowry. On his way back to his home, I ran away. After running away, life wasn't easy. I was alone. It was like I was dissected, exposed. Vultures flew over my head. And just as the silver line to my dark cloud started to disappear, I heard about this organization run by a woman. With much endurance, I found my way there, got formal education. Now, I run awareness programs about against your body all over Nepal. My sister is still my strength and my inspiration. My lungs every moment inflate with her presence. I feel her hands on my head and her smiling down at me. My sister was, is, and will forever be my true blessing. Thank you so much. May I now request all the finalists to come up on the stage. May I request the judges to give their feedbacks. Inan Nupur and Krithi, uh, well done. Very good poetry, good recitation. Ina, your poetry, I found it very simple and nice. I think uh, because of your memory, you were a bit distracted. So in your second poem, you want to work on that. Uh, Nupur, very strong poem. And uh, hope you bring that strength in your delivery as well, so that they would match each other. Krithi, it's a very sensitive uh, poetry that you have written. You deliver it in a very strong way. So that was really nice of your recitation. All three were really original poems that I have heard. As for Ina, I'd like to say your poem is simple yet very meaningful. But yeah, you really need to work on the delivery as in like, you're good, you're really good. But then there needs to be um, more of impression. You were clear. As for Nupur, very original. You're confident, but you need to like Santoshtai said, you really need to you know, work on the impression again. And it was very clear. I could hear every word and it made sense. Kriti, I did my research, I did my thesis on Chalpuri. So everything you said made a lot of sense. And the way you've put it in a poem, it's beautifully done. You've expressed uh, the problems of Chalpuri as well as how it helped the poet to become strong, to go against the so-called uh, cultural values. Um, so yeah, it was nicely delivered, you were confident and very specific to uh, the topic. Indeed, I think all three did a, did a great job. I listened to what poems and indeed I, I agree that, you know, you know, you were a little bit nervous, maybe your delivery has to improve. When I listen to content, I look for simplicity. Sometimes you want to say so many things and then you have to focus on so many things happening. I was most impressed by Ina's, Ina's poem because of its simplicity. The other two were beautiful, but it was just too much going on. That's my only comment. We will now begin with the second round of poetry competition. May I call upon Ina Nirola to come up on the stage with her second poem. The topic for the second round is a giant defiant on the woman empowerment. It is to the people who saw the paradoxical in nature inside home and outside home. Outside to be good in front of everyone and inside who be a giant as they are. He outside was to advocate about woman empowerment in the aggregate as he was an election candidate. 
He said that women are blessings. I always respect women, he was confessing. To get votes, he was, words was he investing. Getting round of uploads, he returned back home. His mini bar was where he always roamed, completely drunk, building a giant syndrome. He got inside his room, wife asleep, bit her, hit her, called her thrash sheep. She was raped and she could only weep. His daughter heard this every day, feared men in every single way. The mistake of her dad, she had to pay. She could just stay silent, bearing the fear of men violent. But he got votes because he was a Zion defiant. Thank you. May I call upon Nupur Kumari Lal to come up on the stage with her second poem. The topic of my second poem is Chaos and the Calm. She had uttered in the profound silence, yet there was no one to hear. She was an art beyond the angels, still there was no one to care. She was distorted by the acridity of some mysterious potion. She was laid in the midst of betrayals and merciless traitors and some truculent beings. All that was suppressed was her, was her courage and all that she couldn't show was fear. However, she was not the kind to rub herself against the ground and stand stationary and helpless. She knew the more other would held her down, the more she would go up. Who knew one day she would win? Who knew one day she would win, except for herself? She knew that she was blessed with grace and beauty and kindness, she knew she was made to serve for peace. She knew that it is always chaos, it is always calm after the chaos. Remember, it is always calm after the chaos. Thank you. May I call upon Kriti Sitola to come up on the stage with her second poem. For the second round, I am reciting a poem about Lakshmi. She was an acid attack survivor in India. She was attacked when she was 15 by a 32-year-old man. This poem tells a, a journey from uh, in which she empowered herself. The title of this poem is Beautiful. I was 15 when the 32-year-old man fell in love with me. No, before you say it, no, it wasn't my fault. I didn't smile, wink, or even accept his love-felt greetings. His love was everything but fair. 15, love? He forced it on me. His love was liquid, transparent, and burning. Maybe everyone who falls in love Treats, makes their loved ones an acid attack victim. 15. And his love burnt. All the parts of me that I loved. 15. And I turned into a narcissist. Only I'd stare at the mirror and mourn over the person I used to be. Love turned everything around. Love was more like evil for me. 15. And I refuse to be the moon to his Jupiter. I refuse to go around him, be affected by his gravity. Alok, 28, found me beautiful. Everything that falls gets, gets broken. He fell for me. I fell for him. It was like falling on trampoline. Because every time we fell, we bounced back up. 2014, this love? It was pure, angelic. This love came with a halo on her head. This love came as my daughter. My daughter thinks I'm beautiful. She thinks my scars are so peaceful. These two, they have redefined beauty for me. Beauty isn't a beautiful face, but a beautiful soul. So I keep brushing myself till I scrub myself clean, do everything to avoid any other girl to go through what I went through. I found inspiration and empowerment within me. I am beautiful, beautifuler than I've ever been. Thank you so much. May I now request all the finalists to come up on the stage. May I request the judges to give their feedbacks. You know, once again, when I was invited, I was told to, to listen to the poem. Of course, delivery is so important. 
so I really focused on content. And, and I think in the second round, the content was even more impressive than the first round. You all wrote your poems yourselves, right? So my compliments to that, it was really, really beautiful message. You know, one of the most important things when I listen and look and, and try to judge is looking at originality. And, and poetry has to touch you. It has to, to touch you because it, it, it explains things and it really takes things at face value and it's real. You know, your, your description, uh, uh, Ina, on hypocrisy, it's amazing. You know, I'm, I'm really, really, really impressed how you described people who outside are so much different than they are inside. That was, that was amazing. I loved your visuals, Kriti. It was like, you know, the trampoline and the Jupiter and the moon. It was, it was very, very visual. That was, that was amazing um, to describe love. And uh, Nupur, very, very clear. So I've judged you in numbers based on how it touched me. And, and, and I looked at originality as well, not so much at delivery. Okay. Again, all three of you were really good, especially at your age, writing poems of this level and expressing yourself. It's commendable. Ina. Uh, yeah, the reflection of hypocrisy was indeed beautifully portrayed. That's, well, I can't generalize, but yes, that's not something that's not happening. Uh, Nupur, the content was beautiful and very positive. And Kriti, you were very confident. Your poem, it had direction, it had vision. What I really liked about your poems was Whatever the topic was, everybody, I mean, it was good, but then yours was very specific, like you chose Chalpuri and the, the acid and burns, the, the acid attack case. It was very specific to the topic. Well done, all three. Congratulations, as Dr. Ruven said. Uh, your second round was much better. The first round was good too. Uh, being specific, in a, you know, you, you portray, your poetry portrays the irony of current society and politics. Your poetry was short and to the point, which is quite impressive. Uh, Nupur, you have a very unique style of writing a poem. And I hope you, at some point in your life, you find your own unique way of delivering it. And it will be excellent, not just on Nepal's level, but on an international level. Kriti, you maintain the, the same tone uh, of the poetry. In the past, poetry used to be romantic and philosophical mm -hmm. and about nature, air, and you know, it's amazing how you have used the same style of writing poetry, but it's very contemporary and it's horrific. It's not, it's not a good one. It's not a positive one. But in your second poem, it's amazing how you took this ugliness of society into something that's very positive and your poetry kind of gives hope and a way out uh, for people who due to unfortunate circumstances, go through very difficult times in their life. So it's, it's, I like your poetry, the fact that it ended in a very positive note, although it started with a very intense uh, crime that happens in South Asia and some other parts of the world. All the best, it's not going to be easy for us to decide. <laughs> Let's see. So whoever wins, consider all three are winners today. The judges are finalizing the marks and we are eagerly waiting to know who is declared the winner and runner-up of Nepal's Top 7 Young Poets Category 5, Grade 10, 11 and 12. May I request our judge, Mr. Santosha, to announce the results. The third winner of Nepal's Top 7 Young Poets is Ina Nirola. The second winner of Nepal's Top 7 Young Poets Category 5, Grade 10, 11 and 12 is Nupur Kumari Lal. First winner of Nepal's Top 7 Young Poets Category 5, Grade 10, 11 and 12 is Kriti Sitola. Congratulations to the winner and the runner-up. 
May I request our judge, Dr. Ruben F. Del Prado, to come up on the stage and hand over the certificate to the first winner. May I request our judge, Ms. Kripa Rana Shahi, to come up on the stage and hand over the certificate to the second winner. May I request our judge, Mr. Santosh Shah, to come up on the stage and hand over the certificate to the third winner. Leadership Academy conducts four competitions annually. Nepal's top seven debaters, Nepal's top seven young poets, Nepal Model United Nations, and Model Sark. If you are a student between grade seven and bachelor's level, and interested to audition for any of the four annual competitions, application submission is now open. To apply, you can call our office at 4257-250 or visit us at facebook.com slash leadershipacademyktm. We will be back next week with a new episode of Youth TV Show. Until then, hope you have a great week ahead. Namaste.